Hey, Richard Knudsen here again, back with another 10-minute tips edition of the Dynamic CRM Trick Bag. And in this edition, I want to talk to you about an important aspect of mail merge, mailing labels. How do we create those in Dynamic CRM 4? Well, it turns out that in CRM 4, unlike in the previous version, you can do mail merge from the web client, but I don't recommend it. If you really want to leverage the formatting power of the Word engine to create anything having to do with a merge job, formatted emails, hard copy letters or postcards, or mailing labels, the example I'm going to show you here. I think the integration of the Outlook client with Office in general, and Word in particular, really makes it your best choice for this job. So I recommend you use the Outlook client. And in the demonstration I show you next, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create mailing labels using the Outlook client. Okay, so I want to show you here using the Outlook client for Dynamic CRM how to create a mail merge template for mailing labels. It's easier to do through the Outlook client. So what I'll do is, using the Outlook client, go to Settings, Templates, and create a new mail merge template. I'll give it a good name. Call it a mailing label template. How about that? Importantly, I will choose the entity that I want to create that for, the contact entity, and I'll go ahead and save it. Now once I save it, the most important thing I need to do is you'll note here from this message at the top that there's no document attached, so I need to go out and attach a document to this before I can do anything with it. So I'll browse out, and notice this is an XML document. I saved that as a Word 2007 XML document, and then I'm going to attach it here. And I didn't do any formatting in the actual document. All I did was I went and created a XML document say that it's much easier if you do it like this, in my experience. And you'll see why when we create the when we do the mail merge. Optionally I could go and customize the data fields here in this list. I'm not going to do much with that here, but I could rather than just use the defaults, although the defaults are pretty reasonable. I'll just go ahead and save it. I've got the XML document attached. And I'll go ahead and save my work here. And now, once I've got this mail merge template created, I can go ahead and save and close out of here. Now I'm ready to do the mail merge. Okay, so to do the mail merge, we need a uh, number of records to do the merge for. I'm going to go select contacts. Remember, I created the merge template for contact entity, so I have to select contacts. And let's just pick a random group here. I'll go into advanced find, and I'll do a simple little advanced find that I'll just filter records out. I'll just, for sake of simplicity, I'll say uh, city contains data. So we'll get some people that are likely to have valid addresses, because for a mailing label functionality, probably helps to have some good address data. I'm going to just select the first 50 records, and if you take a look at the uh, toolbar on any contact grid, including Advanced Find, you'll see a number of actions that you can do on the top of the toolbar. The one that I want to be concerned with here is this uh, word icon that you can see from the tooltip. That's what gives me the mail merge functionality. So I'll go ahead and choose that. English is the language. Importantly, for the merge type, you want to select a label here. There's some functionality that you get if you select that, that you don't get otherwise. So I'm going to select the label, then I want to choose the mail merge template. The merge template that we created earlier, that is a personal template for now, because I didn't promote it to organization. Okay, and then I can just go ahead and click OK. Now we're actually going to start performing the merge here. So the integration with Word is much better from the Outlook client. That's why I prefer it. Even though you can do mail merge from the web client for CRM in Dynamic CRM 4, it is better with the Outlook client. I'll select, confirm all the, all the records should be selected. And this here, this dialog, is the functionality that you don't get if you didn't select label for the merge type. This is important because if you want to do something like 30 labels per page, you see here, it's automatic with this piece of functionality, but you don't get it at all if you choose one of the different merge types. So remember to choose that label type. I'm just going to choose a half page letter. So this will simulate what I would need to do if I was actually going to print on pieces of individual 
um, envelopes in my printer, which is fine. I'm going to choose the address block. It's an automatic piece of functionality. You'll see what happens when I choose this. I'll just select the address block functionality there. And then what you'll see when I preview the results, the merge takes care of this. Since I selected label, it's going to do a nice label piece of functionality there for me. And all I need to do is go ahead and choose finish and merge. And I can do a couple of things here. If I'm ready to print, I could. But a lot of times what I will do is choose edit individual documents. And this gives me the flexibility of coming back later and printing. So this will, as you'll see, ultimately create a 50 page document that I could then print later. Interestingly, if I use the Outlook client here, not through the web client, but through the Outlook client, I can create activities at the same time. So this will create a history activity for every one of those 50 contacts that I selected for this merge so that the uh, sales rep, for example, might uh, you know have you have a record of what you've done with your customers, the good old 360 degree uh, view of the customer relationship, including all their activities. And notice what I can do here. I can actually go ahead and create a quick campaign if I want to, so that we could record campaign responses later on. I could assign these activities to the owners of the records that are included in the mail merge. And this is functionality that, again, this is an example of improved functionality using the Outlook client rather than the web client. You can do a mail merge using the web client, but the functionality is better in CRM4 if you use the Outlook client. Okay, so now we're actually performing the merge. The merge takes a few minutes to perform. You need to have a little bit of patience if you're taking this approach here. If you're sending it directly to the printer, it's pretty obvious when the merge is done. But if you're creating a file in the approach that I'm taking here, it might not be so obvious. So what I would tend to do is kind of let it run for a little bit just to make sure I get everybody. But then you can also preview it and make sure you get everybody too. We'll see that in a second. Notice the activities have now been created. So we do have some, some uh, indication that uh, at least an important, one important part of this has been created, has been completed, I should say. Okay, so now what I can do is uh, close out here. What you might do in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and save this query. Um, it's an advanced find, so that later on maybe I can come back and uh, see who was involved in that if I just want to um, verify maybe later on that the activities actually were created for all of those contacts. It's not a bad idea to save that. Okay, so now I can maybe navigate away. I come back later, go back into contacts. Let's uh, select this view, the saved view here. And let's just open one of these records and see what it looks like from an activity standpoint on the contact record. If I click on activities, you'll see nothing there, but there is a history item. There's my mail merge activity that was created. Notice the activity type is actually a letter. That's the activity status is completed. Here's what it looks like. Now, the sender in this case is me, the administrator record that I'm logged in at. But um, if that was a, a user-owned uh, record from some other user, it would have been assigned to them as well also. Okay, here's what the document looks like. Remember, we merged to a document. And notice what I've got here is nicely formed um, address block using that automatic functionality and because I use the label type of mail merge and now look it formats it nicely as a label and now what I can do is simply one last time verify up yep, here's what it's supposed to look like I put my envelopes in the printer and I go ahead and print it or not come back later and print it and then we've got a, a very nice little mail merge I can save the file so this is actually kind of nice because it divorces the actual process of executing the merge from the printing. Maybe I'm not ready to print yet. Maybe I need to print to another printer, which is my label printer. I don't have a connection to it right now. So that's kind of the scenario that I'm showing you here. So uh, anyway, this is the way to go. I think uh, if, you, if you do have access to the Outlook client for the CRM 4.0, you'll definitely have more success using that. And uh, I hope you found this helpful. Richard Knudsen, Dynamic CRM Trick Bag, signing off.